So I think that is his last attempt of the competition. Paula Dunn running on the outside for England in this 200 metre final. Uh, by the way, you've just seen Milt Otty in the high jump. Uh, Merlin Notty, who's the favourite for this one, final. is his cousin. Lane one. Uh, running a in the 200 metres, already the gold medalist at 100. This is a CC, Uganda, or C, Oliver, rather, a 19 of Uganda, ninth of the 100 metre final. In lane and two, Linda Keogh from Basingstoke in lane number two, meters. running for England. England Linda silver Keogh. medalist in the 400 metres. Perhaps the hardest favourite of the three, games, Merlin Otti of Jamaica Gaines, in lane number three, number three the 100 metre champion, the champion in this Jamaica, event Merlin eight years Otti. ago in Brisbane. In lane four, lane Jennifer four, Stout, Essex Ladies, Ladies running for England. First time 23.27, she was fifth in the 400 metre final. In lane five, and in brilliant form, lane Sally Ann Short of Wales, Wales 21, Wales. set the Welsh 100 metre Short. record here, fifth in the 100 metre final. Four times the Welsh 200 metre champion. Lane and this is the second favourite, Kerry Johnson of Australia. Silver in the 100 metres final behind Otty. Set an Australian 100 metre record. Lane and in lane number seven, Cathy Sambal, the Australian number three, in fact. She was only third in the trials. 23.40. And from Wagga Wagga. Pauline Davis, the, bronze medalist the Bahamas, goes in lane number eight. From the Bahamas, bronze Pauline medalist in 100 metres here. And right on the outside is Paula Dunn, who's uh, nine on the outside, been having problems with uh, blood sugar and uh, has been cutting out sweets. It hasn't worked, or sweet things. And she's back on the sweeter stuff, and uh, she says she feels stronger for it. Early Notty. final of the Commonwealth Games, women's 200 metres. <laughs> An even break. And Artie's got away extremely well, so too is Sally Ann Short. And also going well is Kerry Johnson of Australia. Off the band is Kerry Johnson with a slight advantage, but Artie comes very quickly off there, realises the danger, and it's Artie leading. In, and Johnson giving her quite a fight. But it's Artie leading, and coming through is Jennifer Stout. Artie wins for Jamaica. Johnson of Australia in second place. And again, very, very good bronze indeed for Jennifer Stout. A legal wind, just under two metres per second. And the time, 22.76, just outside the game's record. What a fine run by Jennifer Stout. I don't know whether she even knows she's third. She looks up at the replay, which she's ignoring. Uh, she'll see that she's got that bronze medal. This was a good bend by Kerry Johnson, though, and she must have frightened Merle Noddy for a moment. But look at Noddy respond as she comes off the bend. Very aware that Johnson's there, but now she goes for home. Sally Ann Short's running a brilliant race here, but watch Jennifer Stout come through. Arty away and clear, Johnson second, and Stout, with that 400 metre strength, comes through to take the bronze. Pauline Davis on the near side, nearly gets there. Oh, does she? We were all convinced up here, but uh, Jennifer Stout did not dip. And Otty dipped for the tape. I wonder. Well, Pauline Davis at this stage is not in the race. We were all convinced in the commentary box, Ron Pickering, yeah. myself, Brendan, that uh, Stout had got it, but uh, she stayed upright, Ron. She lost it on the dip if she's lost it, and uh, only when we saw the replay, she had it with a stride out. She had the uh, gold medal in her hand. It was uh, quite remarkable, uh, the bronze medal in her hand. We were uh, quite jubilant for Jenny Stout because she was way back. And this Merlin Otty's lap of honor, she didn't want to run anymore. Marvellous piece of running. She had uh, good opposition from Kerry Johnson. And then the battle was really on for the bronze, and Jenny Stout had come from five metres down. She was three metres down on, uh, on uh, Sally Ann Short at one stage and came storming through. And Pauline Davis of the Bahamas, nearest to us, uh, really dipped 
and I think on that photograph on the line he must have taken it because it's the first part of the torso to reach the line and Jenny Stout when she sees those pictures and John Isaacs her coach oh, will rue the day that she didn't dip on the line perhaps uh, she might have been slightly aware she didn't look too happy when she finished uh, she might have been slightly aware that had happened although I can't really see with, with fractions involved that she could have been aware of Pauline Davis there Oh, absolutely. We, we were wondering why she wasn't jubilant because she had a marvellous run. Third or fourth, it's been a marvellous run. She's beaten much more favoured people behind her. But uh, maybe she sensed, you know, on their peripheral vision when they're running for the line, they, they, the top sprinters generally know whether they've got it or whether they haven't. She, she didn't look that delighted, but here's a double champion that does. The news is she hasn't got it. Pauline Davis has been given third place unofficially in 23.15, but no timing beyond the first three at the moment. Otty winning it, 22.76. Kerry Johnson in second place, 22.88. And Davis of Bahamas in third place, 23.15. Fair amount of drama in the last 20, 25 minutes. It has to be said that was a slightly disappointing game in a meter final, but uh, what a brilliant athlete Merlin Notty is. <laughs> It's almost like the Royal Drive. <laughs> Stretford being uh, celebrated in the back there. I don't know Tonk and Gazhar, but Paula Dunn, I'm pretty sure. The Welsh uh, pretty much in evidence. But it has been an afternoon of upsets. There's no doubt about that. Fine run by Jennifer Stout and uh, for most of the way for Sally Ann Short too. Uh, but it's, uh, there's a lot going on. The long jump and high jump uh, in progress. A massive crowd, brilliant conditions and uh, events full of surprises. Peter Elliott just came up to the box and said, what a disappointing 800 metres. Could you believe that, he said, of Tom McKean? And could you believe that of Matthew Yates? And uh, he lines up tomorrow in the 1500 metres, so it's a big surprise to Peter Elliott. Uh, but some of his fiercest opposition may well have uh, suffered from, uh, well, a moral setback in that 800 metres. Look at Jennifer Stout here. Drawn in lane four. And, of course, the girl she's against is drawn in lane eight. That's the winner. Merlin Otty, brilliant winner of the 100, now streaking ahead, having uh, cut down the lead of Kerry Johnson of Australia. And this, uh, the world's number one sprinter of 1989, maintains it in 1990.